Since Tarek Skubal became a full-time Tiger starter, he's gotten better every year. Currently, he's the favorite to win the AL Cy Young Award. Dude, 6'3", 240. Big fella. Taking on the Guardians in Cleveland. Only allowing a 192 batting average against. 11th best in the bigs. Steven Kwan, what a year he's having. Hitting 343. 396 on base, but went one for five in this one. Scooble gave up some hits in this game, but kept getting out of jams. Tigers up 4-1. They scored early for Scooble, so he could pitch with the lead. Soft liner there again. Two on. Get the double play. Bottom four. Again, two runners on, two outs. The tough Quan again. That's nasty. Continues to limit the damage. Now, Jose Ramirez, man in scoring position. 98, Shedder. Two batters later. Runner still on second. David Fry. Nope. Again, Scooble out of the jam. Went to Seattle University. Drafted the ninth round, just again, since he became that full-time starter 2021, every year that whip goes down and down and down. It'll suffer in this one because he scattered 10 hits. That's a career high. Six Ks, one walk, Tigers win, Scooble wins. So once in a while, he gets it done. We mentioned he entered the favorite, according to ESPN, bet to win the AL Cy Young. Not much changes, too much. Funny enough, three of the five also earned MVP, as you see on this list, though Aaron Judge has a firm grasp on that so far this year. How long is too long? It's a phrase that we can apply to so many aspects of daily life. How long is too long to leave in your conditioner? How long is too long to smoke a brisket? Hmm? How long is too long to text back? Hmm. But until this past weekend, I didn't realize you could also apply it to a very specific part of baseball. That was until the Rays and the Yankees started a heads-up game of how long is too long to circle the bases after a home run. Well, sometime around 30 seconds, seemingly, that's what we got going on. So Aaron Boone, I remember him, he was ejected the other night. This is Jose Siri, top of the fifth. The Rays are down 4 nothing. Sends it the other way for a solo home run. And Jose had nowhere to be. And that included his dugout because he took his time. I mean, by the time he got to third, he's practically walking. That's about a 30-second home run try. Aaron Judge like, okay, that's what we're doing. Bottom of the seven. Yankees up 5-1 now. Juan Soto at the plate, and he smokes it. And it just stays inside the foul pole for a home run. So, Soto starts his trot. And we're going to show you some stats here. Absolutely matched the race pitching of late in his last six games. He's batting 600, 15 for his last 25, 1240 slugging, 1883 OPS. And as you can see, he's also taking his time around the bases. He burns the race pitching again, then makes sure he enjoys the trip. I mean, Siri did it, so why not? He, look, he's still running, and I'm out of stats. Took him 37.7 seconds to get around the bases. Slowest home run trot in baseball this season. <laughs> it's a petty fest between the Yankees and the Rays. Bottom of the eighth. It's a 6-1 game now. Soto's up again. And this one. Did he break his record? Just a straight laser. Oh. I mean, get out of the way of that one. His 25th of the year. Oh. But this one, though, he's running a little faster. Bucci, he cut off 13 seconds. Ah. I think he proved his point with his last one. He laid off the carbs. So he just moves on from that one. So what's up, fellas, with taking so long to get around these bases on these home runs? Oh, by the way, the Yankees did win it. They needed that one, 9-1. But let's hear some sound. He just part of the game. Like, at the end of the day, I don't know what they're doing. Like I say again, I don't know what they have back there but I know from this side we always come out and play hard every day every day and try to respect our our teammates and and the other teams too. Do you have any issue with Siri taking his time around the bases? You know it is what it is I mean he you know he hit that ball well he hit the ball out to right um you know he can he can run as slow or as fast as he wants. It took some time to trot around the bases there as well. Was that uh, to just enjoy a little birthday present to yourself? Tomaste te tiempo poniendo las bases. Eso fue no más para disfrutar el home run para ti. Sí, eso eso fue normal. Solo me divertí con un muchacho en el dogado. Hacemos lo que tenemos que hacer y ya. Yeah, that was normal. I was just trying to have fun with my teammates in the dugout, and that's just what happened. 
Did Soto say anything to you on his trot out there? I couldn't tell if he was looking at the bullpen or at you. Uh, te dijo algo Soto cuando él corrió las bases, él no sabe si estaba mirando al bullpen o, o a ti. Yo no sé, en verdad me, no me importa. Eh, yo, por mí puedo durar 30 segundos para el home play y yo no me voy a molestar. Eso, eso son cosas que a mí no me afectan. No, honestly, I, you know, I don't know. You know, that's something that doesn't affect me. It looked like he ran about 30 seconds around the bases, but like I said, that's stuff that doesn't bother me. All right, so this series had a few home runs. Um, and it took some guys some time to get around. Six different home run trots, Bucci, took 30 seconds or more. And of course, it was Soto who had the longest. The last time someone for the Royals hit for the cycle was 1990. Wow. The Hall of Famer George Brett. The longest drought of any team in the league without that? a cycle. But here comes Bobby Witt Jr. He can do it. Bottom of the first, down the right field line, and he Whoa. is on his giddy up. Whoa, that's his 10th triple of the year. That's the first Royals player, Bucci, with 10 triples before the start of August since Jose Offerman in 1998. Whoa. How about that for a name? So triples usually the hardest one to get, right? Yeah. So you get the triple. So then what do you do? He can do that. Yeah, Hits lot, it in the gap off the of wall. Lots of doubles. That's a double. So now Salvador Perez is up later in the inning, and that is crushed. That is not to help Witt for his cycle watch, but home runs are always fun. We like to show them. So the Royals take a 4-3 lead courtesy of that. Let's go to the bottom of the four. Witt, like, oh, we close, y'all. Yep. We real close. Three-run home run. Royals up 8-3. Now it's just a single away. Bottom of the six, 9-3 game. He needs that single. But the first pitch of the at-bat, he gets bumped right up in the arm. Umberto Castellano plunks him. Perez is like, yo, what's going on? Cycle watch continues. Top of the seventh now. Gabriel Moreno gets hit by John Schreiber. So now the umpire is like, you know what? We ain't having this. You warn, you warn. That's what it is right now. But after the warning, Tor Lavolo gets tossed. Like, what is going on? They're like upset. There's conversations. Now you get Perez involved. Seemed like an easy warning. I you? mean, how can you be surprised, right, after what happened? Bottom of the eighth now. Last opportunity for Witt and Ooh. he was not swinging for a single. I'm just saying. I know. And he shouldn't, right? Pops it up to right. First player, though, in Royals history with a home run, triple, double, and hit by pitch in the same game. Afterwards, he was huh. Royals TV reporter Joel Goldberg. The homer and the double and the triple. Here comes Salvi. Can't even get out of the way of that, the force of the splash. You just want to have fun and win games. You're clearly doing that, but what? out of a home run derby, it looks like you're seeing everything so well. You've made three outs since we came back to play baseball. What's working so well for you? I'm really just trying to keep it as simple as possible, just trying to see ball, hit ball. I know that sounds pretty cliche, but it's working, so I'm just going to keep doing that and just keep trying to get on the base pass, score some runs so we can win some ball games. You, you took care of the, the hard parts first. All that you had left was the single. First off, what happened on the hit by pitch? Yeah, I just kind of came up and in, uh, got me in the arm, and then, yeah, that's really it. And then I, I know you're just going up there trying to compete. This crowd was sitting there ready for the Royals' first cycle since 1990. How much in the eighth inning are you thinking about that single? Yeah, I definitely want to do it for the fans. These fans are awesome out here, so, yeah. All right, how about that? Only He's made three outs since he came back from the Austin <laughs> break. That's pretty impressive. Uh, he's also just the fourth player in the last 20 seasons to have a double triple home run in the first wow. four innings of a game. But get this, Bucci, only one of them actually ended up completing the cycle, and that was B.J. Yeah. Upton. Use them. Trade them something. All right, Reds and Braves. NL wild card leading Braves. Home to Cincinnati. This is their first meeting of the season between the two. And L.A. De La Cruz. Down the right field line, a triple reaches third base in 11.17 seconds. That's the fastest triple of the season. That's completely opposite of Soto. Completely opposite. Took him, what, 34 seconds for his home run? 37. It took De La Cruz 11 to get the third. Meanwhile, De La Cruz on first, and again, he is no Juan Soto. 
He has given the people speed after the Candelario grounder down the right field line. First to home in 10.19, even quicker than his triple. He goes 270 feet. A little leadoff, so a little less than that. Reds lead 3-0. Orlando Arcia at the dish, first and second, but a good night if you're a Reds fan. Green pitched really well, 7 Ks in 7. All right, back to the Diamond Brewers and the Cubs. Milwaukee, of course, leading the NL Central. Michael Bush here, bottom of the third. Lines one to center. Got a couple runners on. We go Amaya scores from second, so Chicago takes a 1-0 advantage. Top of the fourth, you got bases loaded. You got one out for the Brewers, and that is Bryce Terang. He grounds to first, and check out Bush. He comes home to get the fourth there. That's so Bush. now it's two outs. That's Bush League. Next batter, William Contreras. Mm-hmm. And he grounds the third, and that ends the threat. Two opportunities with bases loaded. They couldn't plate a run. Bottom of the fourth, Tobias Myers. Whoa, that's Whoops. a wild pitch. And Mike Talkman comes in for oh. third. Close. It's almost amazing there's not more injuries on those plays. Yeah, broken, uh, broken arms. Yep. Cubs lead it 2 0. Sixth inning. That is Ian Happ. Mm-hmm. And he just happened to like that pitch. If Happ, hooray. Solo home run, his 16th. And the Cubs take down the Brewers at home. 3-1. All right, now to our top story. Red Hot Buckeyes, Cardinals, top of the fifth. Nolan Gorman, his team down 1-0. Wiggity, 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 whack. Stoink. Foul pole. That was loud. Yeah. Gorman's 19th homer of the season. Tied at one. Stoinkage. Great camera, good audio. All right, later in the inning. Brendan Donovan, the first. Rowdy Telez, eat it up, Rowdy. To Mitch Keller. Have you met my friend Mitch? Nice job. Leads him well. Keller pitched well. Bottom eight. Buckos get a big hit from Nick Gonzalez. And they get it. Here comes Brian Reynolds. Pirates take the 2 1 lead. They hand the ball to their closer, and he's a good one quietly. David Bednar. He grew up in Mars, Pennsylvania. That's about 25 minutes north of Pittsburgh. Tied for the league lead in saves last year. Only three Pirate relievers have at least tied for the league lead in saves. Dave Justy, Mark Melanson, and that dude. Skeens will pitch tomorrow. Pirates win again. They're two games over 500. No Kent Colby? No, I was surprised. It wasn't it. Never led the league in save. Teak, number 27. On me again? Yep. I was, I was just about to enjoy a beverage. It looked like it. Francisco. That's fun to say. That's his uh, 18th home of the year. Had 31 last year, Eves. Who drinks chocolate milk at this hour? Oh, I love chocolate milk, and it's gone. You know, it's good to drink milk at night, actually. Not in the morning. Drink it at Chisholm. night. Sounds like a podcast. Jazz Chisholm Jr. doesn't like that call so much. After the game, <laughs> he went on the Twitter, the X, and robot emoji. I love please. the robot. He's rooting for robot umpires. <laughs> That's not good for the unemployment numbers. Francisco. That's fun to say. Twice. Second homer of the game, 19 on the year. Again, had 31 last year. He could get there again. He had two full months to go, more than two full months. Mets lead 6-3. All right, Brian De La Cruz, bottom nine. And Diaz, uh, I, 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 uh, uh, throw it. Uh, he probably should have done that to begin with. Would have had two outs. Now there's still one out, and the bases are loaded. But then Josh Bell rips it to second. Jeff McNeil makes a nice play, but he'll take the sure out. But a run does score. Two on, two outs, and that's a nothing burger from Jake. Diaz gets the job done, and the Mets hold on to win. Six to four. Rangers, White Sox, top of the fifth. Chicago's up 2-1, runner on first. Andrew Benintendi swings, misses. Catcher Jonah Heim drops the ball. Luis Robert advances the second. Now, Rangers manager Bruce Boshi comes out. Like, I think that's interference. Was it? Was he in the way? Well, Benintendi didn't seem to interfere with the glove. Boshi gets tossed, though. Fourth this season, passes Ron Gardenhire for seventh most on the all-time list. Good to see Bush, uh, Boshi lose some weight. It's nice to fit out here, winning that World Series last year. Uh, he, bottom of the night. He should voice documentaries. He yes, he should. Amazing voice. Time up the middle. Go ahead, Ron comes in the, excuse me, ties it up at 3-3. We would go to extras. Wyatt Langford. I like that kid's game. 
Thanks for coming out. God bless. Good night. We're walking it off 4-3 in 10 innings. Uh, look, the White Sox have had some issues, uh, but this, no one wants this on their resume. 75 losses in just 102 games. That's mm. the third fewest wow. in the expansion era. Uh, that 1962 Mets team, yep. that was the first year of their existence. Yep.